Welcome to Dr. Solomon Ledfit. Today we are going to talk about the bony orbit. The bony orbit is a very important structure. It is located on the nose, the bridge of the nose. It acts as a cavity that houses the orbit and its associated structures. The wall of the orbit is very important as it protects the eye and associated structure from injury. It provides points of attachment for six extraocular muscles that allow accurate positioning of the visual axis. Determines the spatial relationship between the two eyes, which is essential for both binocular and conjugate eye movements. Bony orbit is a cavity containing and protecting five sixths of the eyeball. The associated muscles, especially the exocular muscles, the nerves, vessels, and other accessory muscles, accessory structures of the eye. The opening is protected by a thin hole fold, the eyelid. The eyelid and other accessory muscles, structures of the eye, we shall talk about it in the next lecture. The orbit supports, protects, and maximizes the function of the eye, as already stated above. It is considered to have a quadrilateral pyramidal shape with the base at the opening of the orbit narrowing posterior medially towards its apex. As it can be seen in this structure, this is the bony orbit. It is pyramidal in shape with the base at the opening of the orbit and narrowing posterior medially to the apex. It has four walls, the roof, the medial wall, the floor, and the lateral wall, and the apex. The roof medially is contributed by the orbital plate or frontal bone with some other contributions from lesser wing of sphenoid bone, and it contains the fossa for lacrimal gland, which is found in the orbital plate or frontal bone. The floor majorly is contributed by maxillary bone, with some other contributions from zygomatic bone and palatine process of, uh, orbital process of palatine bone. The floor contains inferior orbital fissure from apex to orbital margin. The inferior orbital fissure is a very good structure as it acts as a passageway for maxillary artery, zygomatic branch of the maxillary artery, ophthalmic vein, and some sympathetic nerves. The medial wall majorly is contributed by ethmoid bone, with some other contributions from frontal, lacrimal, and sphenoid bones, as it can be seen. We have the frontal bone, green in color. Ethmoid bone is the one which is yellow. Lacrimal bone, purple. And it also has some lesser contribution from the lesser wing of the sphenoid bone. The medial wall is indented by lacrimal fossa for lacrimal sac. The lateral wall majorly is contributed by the frontal process of zygomatic bone and greater wing of sphenoid bone. And lastly, the apex is contributed by the lesser wing of sphenoid bone and it carries a very important structure as it acts the opening for optic canal, which is medial to superior orbital fissure. The optic canal is a passageway for optic nerve and ophthalmic artery. Thank you.